Hi folks, welcome to Cause Vapor Reviews once again and welcome to the video. Now in a short while I've got an RDA review coming up for you. Uh, first of all I've got a few shout outs. Uh, I recently became part of the admin team for Approved Vapors group over on Facebook and John Ball, Stephen Donaghy, Steve Bradley, Alex Max, Chris, Alex, Slane, Leonard part of the admin team. I'm honoured guys to be part of this team. Uh, it's a great group. One of the fastest growing groups uh, I've known on Facebook for, for vaping. Uh, I think we had something like 1,000 members nearly in, in 24 hours. It was absolutely grew quickly. It was set up through uh, a bit of banter, really, with another Facebook group, but uh, I won't go there. Anyway, it's growing fast, guys. I'll put a link to the group underneath this video, as this, this has been my first video review on my channel since becoming part of the admin team for Approved Vapors and obviously everybody knows, uh, well a lot of people know John Bold uh, for his uh, selling of devices etc and great prices, great service from John can't praise him enough, he does a lot of work uh, for the vaping community and so do a lot of other guys as well, you know I can't mention everybody but I'm just mentioning the admin team because I'm part of the admin team on approved vapors but thanks to everybody that's joined the group i hope you like the group uh it's going to be full of loads of chit chat and stuff you know post your pictures up videos up whatever you want uh keep it clean and have fun so straight on to this review now this wasn't bought from john by the way sorry john <laughs> this was bought from uh, greyhaze.co.uk uh, I did add a trip down to King's Heath store in Birmingham, my second trip down there. It's a great store. Uh, it's a vape cafe as well. And whilst I was there, I picked up a few things. One of them being, this is the Ivogo clone of the Forge v version 2 RDA. Now, Ivogo store RDAs at the moment are coming in. In the main, in the main, let me just reach, sorry for reaching down there these plastic jewel cases but for some reason this forge came in here but I'm not that bothered uh, $17.99 this is on greyhaze.co.uk and normally I've got this atomizer attached to my device and then I'll vape on it and we'll go down and have a look at the device close up but I've cleaned it out I'm not going to do a build on it it's just got a normal build in there you'll see when I do the close ups uh, I haven't done anything stupidly low, it's 0.5 ohm build, a dual coil build in there, straight camphor, and, and it, it's, uh, it's an absolute great device, I've been using it, I've been using it non-stop for the last seven days, uh, I have got a, a Mutation X V4 that's been a bit redundant, and also I've got a Velocity here that's been a bit redundant, because I just love this, it looks really smart on the Snow Wolf, uh, and I've just been dripping constantly for the last few days since I've had it. So what we'll do, guys, is uh, I'll give you a bit of information on it before we go down to it for close-ups. Now, this I'm reading you this information straight from the product page on greyhaze.co.uk. It's uh, the Forge RDA is a short-style chamber RDA designed for destiny, uh, flavor, and amazing clouds. That's what it states on here. Uh, it. it for me personally, it's it does create clouds, but it's it, the flavour from this is fantastic. Uh, it's a 22 mil stainless steel device. It has a it has slanted bottom uh, undercoil airflow that comes in through the side and then under the coils. I'll show you that on close ups. Uh, really ingenious to put a slant on it, uh, so you don't have to put your coils close to the edge. Uh, three. Uh, two millimeter diameter air holes on each side and it's also got a third lot that uh, sorry three two millimeter diameter air holes on each side for single or dual selection because uh, you can run this in single coil as well because it has a third slot on the uh, on the outer casing uh, it's got a, a twin center hole to maximize coil building make it easier uh, for the pos for the, uh, the positive post so it's not got one hole, it's got two holes on one post. It's got a peak insulator in this, a wide bore drip tip, and it is wide. 
uh, but it comes with a standard 510 drip tip adapter that just pushes on and obviously like I've said before it's it this is a one 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 clone so what we'll do now guys we'll go straight down for close-ups and then we'll once we've done the close-up video of it we'll come back up and uh, we'll have a vape on it and rate it and stuff so we'll see you down at the table guys all right folks here we are close up with the uh, atomizer the rda it just comes in one of these old style atomizer boxes that we see a lot of clones that we used to see a lot of clones should i say come in and it's got ivo goes uh writing on there when it focuses focus there you go but it doesn't actually tell you on the box what it is that's the only thing it's so what we'll do is we'll open this box up and then we'll slide out the plastic we'll put that to one side we'll slide out the plastic and we'll take the bits out now you get a bag of uh, spares and in the spares packet you've got spare o-rings a couple of pre uh, built coils there look a bit like 26 gauge them Probably if you use both of them, it comes to what, what, roughly what I've got in here now. And your famous blue screwdriver. Also, we'll get to the uh, PS de la Resistance, which is the Forge RDA. Now I'll just come off autofocus for this and I'll go into manual because it's a lot easier. And I think we're about right there. So this is the Forge RDA guys, and as you can see, we've got Forge, MCV, Philippines, number one one six five. Obviously, this was made by MCV originally, and you know it is a clone. So you either like that or you don't with the the light the the, the engraving on, and it's quite deep engraving. It's nice engraving on that. It's quite deep really nice so we'll start from the top drip tip adapter so you can put your drip tips in so you can use it like that if you don't want to use the drip tip adapter which i've never done yet is you take that drip tip off and all you do is you just pull it off it's just got an o-ring on it and it just comes off like that it's just got an o-ring so you push it on so that's that we'll pull that down there this is a wide bore as you can see and it is with my spongebob ruler roughly 18 millimeter in diameter that drip tip is across there it's 18 mil across and nice fitment of the drip tip so that's that down there so that's your drip tip just take the push the that's the chamber inside really nice finish to this really nice and there's you've got your three uh, Cyclops air holes one two three the third one there is obviously for your single coil build and these are approximately sorry if I've got off camera uh, let's have a look how I know this is not very scientific, but they are roughly about 10 mil long by 4 mil deep. So they are 10 mil that way and 4 mil deep. And there's three, there's obviously when you dual coil in, there's two of them. So very nice, very nice finish to that. Slightly reduced in there. But when you're using a drip tip like this, <laughs> it's not going to help much. So that's this is the deck. Now, if I get my, just get my tweezers. Single O-ring, which is a really nice fit, not too tight and not too slack. Uh, it, it really is nice. Uh, I could just about pull it off, but it says it says a good fit. Even with juice on, it's a good fit. Uh, some of them can be really slack with one O-ring, but it's a really nice, uh, uh, not it's not not overly tight, so you can adjust your airflow on the fly. First thing to note is 
these the quality of these screw heads really uh, these screws and the heads on them really really nice let's see if we just go out of the focus slightly there we go yeah that's one thing that I noticed straight away uh, very deep uh, cross in there in the screw heads and that enables you to get a tight to tighten them down well tighten your coils down well so that's a real uh, plus then we've got these three 2mm air holes now the difference with this is as you can see that these under coil airflow holes here are slanted so as the airflow comes at the coil like on a diagonal rather than straight up vertical and then it enables you to build your coils closer to the posts instead of being over the airflow holes here we see with a vertical RDA the airflow is coming straight directly up so your coils have got to be more over towards the edge of the RDA to get sufficient airflow to your coils whereas this has ingeniously been milled with a slant both of them and really ingenious and it works it, you know it works really well because you can have your coils closer to these center posts there is a peak insulator in there and it's a very deep juice well uh, if I stick that you know in there I would say that's about five mil in there five mil juice well in there five or six mil juice well down there and then we've got nothing on the bottom that's non-adjustable if you undo that your, your center post will come loose your dual center post and we've got a dual center post here so ease of coil building it's, it's an absolutely ace deck for coiling dead easy dead dead easy with these dual posts dual post positive posts are really good for building because you can do one coil and screw both legs down and then do the other coil rather than having just a single post where you've got to screw uh, your legs down singly in one single action but really nice and there's not much else to say and that, that that's it what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to uh, just wick it up for you i'll go off i'll go on to autofocus now i'm just going to put some cotton in what i do is i just rest it in that i'm going to cut some cotton i'm just using this organic uh, japanese japanese cotton i cut about a piece about I don't know four or five mil wide I've got to uh, three mil diameter coils on here and then all I do is just roll the very end up and then uh, just push it through that easy like so like that then I just uh, I leave about I don't know, 10 mil or so there, how much is there? Just you gauge it by eye, 15 mil, 10 to, 10 to 15 mil, you leave there. The same on the other side, cut that off. And just pull it so, it so it's sort of straight. Then what I do normally is I get something, uh, you can get uh, use your tweezers or something, and then I just uh, tuck these in down there, like so. Making sure that you don't block up these airflow holes with any cotton. Like so, try to leave it fluffy at the top here, where it's going onto the coil. And then same here, tuck that in. It's got a lot of space in the juice wallet here on this deck. So as it's it's like that. That's all you do. And then same with the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll know how much cotton you use over time uh, to width wise to what diameter cores you're using. I can get it more or less perfect every time, sort of like now. I don't like my coils in, or in these RDAs to me, me wicking to be really tight in there. I like I have a little bit of play, but not too much. So that's getting a little bit tight towards that end now. So 
Just cut that little bit off there. That's it. And then I just trim it down a bit. And again, just pull it sort of levelish. And then do the same again. Tuck it in. Dead easy. Loads of space in here. Loads. For this, for such a small RDA, it's got quite a bit of space. What I like as well is what I've always done with sort of drippers is I keep the I keep a gap underneath the airflow here. Don't have any cotton in this area, sort of here. I always keep that free so as the air can get underneath right underneath the coil as well. And make sure I, my legs touch the bottom of the bit of the deck so any juice on the deck can get sucked up. That's it guys, and that's all you do, and then obviously I'll uh, just drip it up. I'm going to dripping at the moment some uh, <coughs> cola from uh, Zeus Juice. It's like, it's not like you drink uh, cola, it's more your uh, cola bottles, uh, fizzy cola bottles. It's really, really good cola, really good cola. And then all I do is swipe a couple of... Uh, swipes of e-liquid across there. And then, because these juice flow holes are slanted, I haven't really had any seepage out of the airflow holes at all. Because obviously you, your core's a little bit set more closer to the centre post, you can just sort of uh, drip it over the centre post as well, and then your legs will drip, will soak up some of the juice off the deck, your legs of cotton. And that's it, guys. And then put your airflow on. I have all three open, like so, both sides, and then the drip tip, and then I'll attach it to, and I get my Billow V2 off, I'll attach it to my uh, Snow Wolf, it looks, it looks smart on the Snow Wolf, really smart, let's just uh, to my airflow again and there we go that's it on the snow wolf it looks really smart on the snow wolf but we'll go up in there and that's it guys that's the forge version 2 rda clone from ivogo so we'll go back up to the top and we'll have a uh, vape on it and rate it and i'll see you later see you up at the top all right guys here we are back up uh what i forgot to say was this is the zeus juices green label this is a 70 30 mix rather than it's 50 50 uh range this is a uh, sort of the higher vg range of juice bought from my local bricks and mortar escape to vapor and really good store as well that is local bricks and mortar to me uh and this is it i've got it set up it's uh, 0.53 Ohm coil so you know it's not mega low and it's I've been running it at 40 watts on the snow wolf and we'll have a take a vape on it and show you the performance I mean that's a 40, you know, I mean, just turn it down a touch. This is 35 watts. You know, you don't, you don't have to go mega low with drippers. You know, just a normal 0.5 ohm coil, dual coil. It suffice, but if you want it a bit warmer, I go to, I like a little bit warmer. So between 40 and 45 watts. Which is, you know, it's pushing 4.6 volts out at 40 watts with a 0.5 m coil, so you know it's going to be warmish. Needs more juice, Carl. Needs more juice. Once it, once the cotton soaked up with juice, it, it'll be, you know, it'll be, uh, you get your proper flavour from your juice. Bit more, that's it. I mean, look at it, you know, it looks really nice on the Snow Wolf. 
It looks part of the mod. Really, really nice. And it says my favourite drippy. Some fizz in that coal. I'm getting a fizz from it. Proper fizz, but it performs well, guys. And, it, and the flavour from it is fantastic. Really, really good. The flavour is excellent. I mean, you can you can have it with you know just two holes open, or just another little to one hole open, even. You know. I mean, I would put the other drips upon if I was using it one hole and probably put a 0.8 or 0.9 ohm coil in there. Because it's not, you know, it's not the widest of airflow at all by any means. But uh, for me, this a drip of this size is made more for flavour. And I'm getting bags of it, bags of it. really really nice that's the forge version 2 rda clone from ivogo i uh, hope you've liked this review guys any uh, questions or comments leave them in the description the, underneath the video on youtube the links to the facebook group will be underneath the video as well and links to where i purchased this from uh, i think it was 17.99 let me just check i think it still is and it's still in stock yes it is 17.99 uh, they do it in a, uh, this is a stainless steel, they do it in black as well. Uh, they didn't have a black one in when I when I fetched this about a week ago. So that, that's a new one for me, but it does come in black as well if you fancy a black one. And it's a great device, guys. Highly recommend it. It looks, with it being short, it does look really smart on, on, on mods. Really, really does. I mean... <clears throat> And the 22 mil max as well. It look, it'll look really nice on it. Won't add a, won't add a lot of height to it because in height it's just it's only uh, it's under it's under it's 29 28 29 mil in height. So you know it's not that large at all. So thanks guys. Anyway, and um, like I said, all the comments on this video. You can catch me over on the AAEC forum too, which is. Uh, under my avatar name of Richo71, uh, the video will go there. It will also go on the Approved Vapors Facebook page and also on my Facebook page. And uh, obviously the Twitter, Google Plus, Gmail is there. And the, my email address will be on, in the description as well for anybody that wants to, needs to contact me. Uh, so thanks guys for watching and have a great night and I'll see you in my next review. Thank you.